Man threatens his disabled sister, and when police respond, that man ends up dead, shot and killed by a Fort Myers police officer. Wink News anchor Annette Montgomery is live in the neighborhood, and investigators will have to dot all the I's and cross all the T's here to make sure that the true events of what happened are crystal clear. And Fort Myers police has a policy in place that the department does not investigate itself in a police shooting. So FMPD will have the Florida Department of Law Enforcement work this case. And City Councilman Johnny Streets, who met with the family today, told me all questions will be answered, starting with did the man have a gun or not? The night of December 1st, Cynthia Jordan made a call to police she never wanted to make about her brother. He always threatened me. He always threatened my life. Jordan made the call to Fort Myers police Friday. Officers responded, and after trying to communicate with Jordan's brother for 45 minutes, an FMPD officer shot and killed Jordan's brother. Why? He had a gun. A news release said the man, quote, approached a window displaying the firearm towards officers and was shot. Officers entered the home and began life-saving measures. But the man died at the hospital. Fort Myers Police Department policy is to turn the investigation over to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. I spoke with Wink News safety and security specialist Kristen Zyman about what happens now. Right now, uh, they're on a fact-finding mission. They are trying to determine you know, what happened. It's simply that is connecting the dots uh, based on, on what occurred and how they were called uh, to this interaction. Connecting the dots is what the family, the city of Fort Myers, and James Muwakil, the president of the Lee County NAACP, told me they want. These types of students involving a black male is all too popular in this country. And so we're looking forward to the investigation. As I said earlier, um, we are optimistic that Chief Fields is going to do everything in his power to reassure the community. Milwaukee Hill told me right before our interview, New Fort Myers Police Chief Jason Fields called him and assured him a thorough investigation will be done. And once that investigation is complete, regardless of what it finds, all of the details will be released. Fort Myers Police did not respond to my request for an interview. Live in Fort Myers, Annette Montgomery, Wink News. All right, Annette, we'll follow up on that. Thank you.